red flag flag here. Hello, I'm Laura Daly and this is my solidarity story for Socialist Think Tank's 12 Days of Solidarity. Uh, my story starts back in 2017 when I got a group of women together to form the Women's Banner Group. Our aim was to recognise and remember the achievements of women across the Durham Coalfield. Initially, what we set out to do was put together a patchwork banner. And to do that, we wanted to involve groups of women from across the county. So we set out to find as many different, very diverse groups as we could. Um, and I think we achieved that. You know, we have um, representations from the Diverse Women's Network, from um, Trinity Tots, a toddler group, um, and everything in between. Um, it's absolutely beautiful, and it was an incredible achievement for us. I think the the most important part about that banner for me is the fact that these women have, for the most part, um, not a lot in common in terms of the groups that they're part of. But when they all came together, they had sort of a common endeavour to achieve this thing, to have us represented at the Durham Miners Gala, which had been predominantly a male space until um, until that point. So it was it was really encouraging and exciting to see all of these women come together and talk about their different groups and what they were doing and what they were interested in, um, pass over information and say, you know, we'd like to get involved with what you're doing. Um, and it just it really did show for me that solidarity is contagious. And once you show an interest, once you offer support, once you give people a common goal or highlight things that they might have in common, they really do come together. Um, and it was just wonderful to watch. I think that's why even though now we have an absolutely gorgeous one of a kind silk miners banner, the community banner will always just be that extra special thing that we've got that reminds us of who we are and what we need to do when we come together. The banner itself was actually marched in the Durham Miners Gala in 2018 and that was again um, a huge moment of solidarity for us because the uh, the Durham Miners Association hadn't had an affiliated all women's banner group up until that point um, and they'd heard about what we were doing and, and we approached them and um, became affiliated, the first all women's banner group to be affiliated, which was just fantastic again. Um, and again, it was that solidarity that was shown by the ex-miners and the people who were running Red Hills and um, the Maras. If you're not a Mara, you should become one because it's got such a, the Durham Miners Gala and, and Mine and Heritage here it does have such a rich history. And the fact that women were always part of that and now we were tapping into it to be remembered in the same way as the miners were was again such a big deal and everybody up at Red Hills were unbelievably supportive of us and showed us complete solidarity so it was just one thing after another um I've been really overwhelmed with the amount of solidarity that's been shown to us as a group um we try to keep doing as many positive things as we can and because of the platform we've been given and because of the success we've had, we kind of want to pay that forward in a way and, and start trying to give voices to people who are struggling to be heard. Um, you know, um, minimised groups in society, we really want to get behind. Also, women will approach us with a project that they have um, that they'd like us to get involved in. And we're really keen to get involved with that and show that solidarity to other people as well. So as I say, yes, solidarity is truly contagious. So you should absolutely show a bit of solidarity and you'll get it back. Um, thank you. We'll keep the red flag flag here.